Download the free practice worksheet on this topic or take a practice quiz at mathcation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another awesome math video from Mathcation. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to solve equations with the distributive property. As you can see, there are four important things that we need to remember when solving equations with the distributive property. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to use a distributive property to distribute. So the very first thing you're going to want to do is, is take the distributor and distribute it to everything inside of the parentheses. And what that means is you're going to take the term in front of the parentheses and multiply it times everything inside of the parentheses. After that, you will use the concept of equality to solve for the variable. Now a variable is just a letter that represents a number in math. Most of the time it's the letter X. And the concept of equality is typically referred to as whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So when you go to solve the equation, you have to add or subtract to get the variables and constants on opposite sides of the equal sign. After that, you'll divide by the coefficient on the variable. And for example, if you had, let's say, 6x, the coefficient on 6x is going to be 6. So you will divide by the coefficient on that variable. And then finally, you know you have your answer when you have x equals a number. And then you know that is the solution. And if you're learning anything right now, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on other helpful math videos. Let's go ahead and get started with some practice problems about equations with the distributive property. Now the first practice problem we're going to do gives us 2 times the quantity x minus 1 equals 4. We know the first step for solving this equation is to take the 2 and distribute it to everything inside of the parentheses. That means you're going to take this 2 and you're going to multiply times x, so we're going to say 2 times x. We're going to keep the sign in the middle the same, minus 2 times 1 now, and that's going to equal 4. Now we can go ahead and simplify. 2 times x is 2x, minus 2 times 1, which is 2, equals 4. And then from here, we're going to put all the constants on one side and the variable on the other, and then we'll divide by the coefficient on the variable. So we have 2x minus 2 equals 4. We have to get this minus 2 on the other side of the equal sign as the variable because we need the variable on one side and we need the constants on the other. So the opposite of minus 2 is plus 2. And by adding 2, these will cancel and it will move the 2 to the other side. Whatever you do to one side, you also have to do the other. So we also have to add 2 on this side. And then we're going to say 4 plus 2. Well, that's 6. And then we're going to bring down the equal sign straight down, and then 2x also comes straight down because we did not change 2x. The coefficient on 2x is 2, and this is like saying 2 times x. So it's not written, but there's a little multiplication symbol there. This is like 2 times x. The opposite of 2 times something is to divide by 2. So we're going to divide by 2 so that the 2's cancel, and we have just x now. And then we also have to divide the other side by 2 because we have to keep the sides in balance. So whatever you do to one side, you have to do the other. 6 divided by 2 is 3, which means that the solution to this first equation with the distributive property is x equals 3. Let's go ahead and jump down to our second practice problem. This one gives us 50 equals 5 times the quantity 5x minus 5. So again, the first step is to distribute. In this case, we're going to distribute a 5 to everything inside of the parentheses. We're going to do 5 times 5x and keep the sign in the middle the same, minus, and then 5 times 5. We bring down 50 and we bring down the equal sign because we have not changed those. Then we have to simplify. 5 times 5x, well, that's 25x. Minus 5 times 5, well, that's 25. And then 50 and equals, they move straight down again. And the next step is to get the constants on one side together and the variable on the other. So the variable this time is on the right side, which means this minus 25 needs to get moved to the other side, to the left side. So the way we do that is we're going to cancel the minus 25 by adding 25 here. And whatever you do to one side, you also have to do the other. So we're going to add 25 here. So this will be 50 plus 25, which is 75, equals... 
25x. So the equal sign and the 25x come straight down. Now the coefficient on the x is 25, and remember this is like saying 25 times x. So we're going to undo that by dividing by 25, so the 25s cancel. And then we also have to divide the other side by 25 to keep the equation in balance. 75 divided by 25 is 3. And then on the right side, all we have left is x. So the solution is 3 equals x. And finally, the last practice problem for equations with the distributive property is the third one. And it gives us negative 10 times the quantity x plus 8 equals 20. Again, what we're going to do is distribute the number to everything inside of the parentheses. Now, this one's slightly different because our distributor is negative. We have to include the negative when we multiply. So we're going to say negative 10 times the first part, which is x, plus negative 10 again times the second part, which is 8. So I'm going to keep the sign, the plus sign, the same, and I'm going to use negative 10 to multiply times everything. Negative 10 times x is negative 10x. And then we're going to say plus what is negative 10 times 8? That's going to be negative 80 equals 20. So now we have negative 10 plus negative 80. You could rewrite this as negative 10 minus 80 if you wanted to. But in the case of this problem, I'm just going to leave this. So we have negative 10 plus negative 80 equals 20. I have to get the 80 with the 20 by adding 80 to both sides so that these 80s cancel. And then 20 plus 80 is 100. And I'm going to bring down negative 10x and the equal sign. Now we have negative 10 times x, so we have to undo negative 10 times x. So we're going to divide both sides by negative 10. Now you, when you divide, if your coefficient is negative, you have to divide by the negative because you have to cancel the negative out. So if it's negative 10x, we have to make sure we divide by negative 10 and not positive 10. So the negative 10s cancel, and then we have equals x equals 100 divided by negative 10 is negative 10. So our solution to this final equation with the distributive property is x equals negative 10. And if you want to download a free practice worksheet or try the free practice quiz, that will grade itself and tell you how you did, go ahead and click on the link in the top right part of this video and you'll get taken to the worksheet and the quiz. Thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you got something out of it and drop a comment telling me if this video helped you or if you need help with something else. See ya!